Juvenile arrested in the mass shooting in Indianapolis over the weekend that killed six people, including a pregnant woman and her unborn child. In a statement, the police chief says, we promise swift justice for this heinous act. Today, we delivered on that promise. Here to discuss is Fox Nation host Nancy Grace. Hey, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. This you is You know what's horrific. disturbing? Uh, it really is. And what's really disturbing to put insult to injury is not only do we have... I say seven victims. You've got five adults. Mm -hmm. You've got a mother, a father, an 18 year old son, a 13 year old sister, Rita. Then you've got a 19 year old woman, Kiara Hawkins, her unborn child. And in Indiana, fetal homicide is considered a homicide on its own. That's a six victim. And a teen boy, the 15 year old little brother, was shot but lived. This is a mass murder. Now, in Indiana, uh, as it works across the country, a juvenile of this age, we've been told he is 17, cannot face the death penalty, even for mass murder. However, I predict by the end of this week, he will be charged with multiple murders in felony superior court and will be treated as an adult. And I want to point out one thing. There is news coming out from within the police department that a baby AK, a baby AK, a Draco gun was used in the murders. Uh, they're a big hit amongst the rappers. Soldier Boy is also called Draco. It looks like an assault weapon, but it shoots rifle bullets. It's about this big, like a, an assault weapon without the stock. Word is, that's what was used. It's been made popular by rappers. I mean, shooting someone's horrific as it is, but your whole family, what made this, this juvenile snap? Well, of course, the state never, ever has to prove a motive. How is the prosecutor supposed to go into the mind of the killer? But this young man, just 17 years old, who should have been looking forward to high school graduation, apparently was reprimanded by his father, who's dead, Oh my gosh. for going out without telling the dad. The dad said, we'll deal with it later. The little brother was downstairs in the basement in this working class community. It reminds me a lot of where I grew up. He heard gunfire upstairs. He heard the sister scream out. He's shooting everybody, followed by more gunshots. It's about 3.45 a.m. on a Sunday morning. The, the little boy gets upset and runs. Apparently it was all because the shooter, whose name has been withheld because he's a juvenile as of right now, was angry because the father reprimanded him. Gosh, that's so horrible. In those pictures, the family was beautiful. Nancy, I know you've prosecuted juveniles for murder in the past. Do you, what do you think will happen here? I know you said he can't get the death penalty. Well, that, that's a difficult memory for me because I don't like putting teens behind bars right. for life. But in this case, with a mass murder, there is no alternative. In this jurisdiction for murder, the penalty is 45 to 65 years. Now here, with this many murders, six murders, remember, the fetus is treated like an adult. They will likely run consecutively, one after the next after the next. If he is convicted, he will stay in juvenile custody until he is 21. Then he will be put in the system. Well, thank goodness the police officers, they, they fulfilled their promise and they caught this guy and he's behind bars. Thanks so much, Nancy. You can catch
worst and most emotional scenes I've been to in a while, and you could see the heartbreak rolling off the faces of those who remain. I heard actually this morning four shots fired. Uh, I peeped out, didn't see anything. The neighbor across the street, Vicki Pinkston, said the same. Well, they knocked on my door at five, Who? the police, and uh, asked me, did I hear anything? I said, no. At that point, she was informed of a shooting at her neighbor's house. I just immediately got me, a, a, got me some clothes on and I'm still the same way. I got pajamas on and everything. She wanted to know what happened. When I told her six were dead, including an unborn child, she broke down. I know, I know, I can't, are you serious? Still processing the tragedy, she began to realize she never knew their names, only their kind hearts and friendly waves. They so sweet, the little boy so sweet, oh Lord, they happy as Vicky all the time, and now I gotta look over there, and I see him say, hi Miss Vicky, <laughs> how's your day going? District 9 City Councilman William Oliver lives just two minutes from where this incident took place. He says this is a loving community and this was a disgraceful act. If it was one person or five, I'm, I'm totally angry and hurt and embarrassed. The community's message to whoever took a total of six lives, including one that never saw the light of day. Act of murder, mass murder, and the shame they brought to the household, to our community, is the ultimate disgrace. How you feel? How you feeling? How are you feeling about this? It could have been yours. It could have been somebody in your family. And a message to the family as they work to heal following this tragedy. My heart goes out to them and uh, my prayers and best wishes and comfort to the family. Please, they got a daughter. She's standing right there. The only one left, I guess. Please help. That emotional plea from the community, and I also have to say one of the most moving things out here today was seeing so many strangers pass by this home saying their prayers. Again, if you have any information, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers, that number, 262 TIPS. Reporting on the Northeast side, I'm Darius Johnson. Thanks so much, Darius. So incredibly sad. Now, faith leaders and members of city council will meet tomorrow virtually to discuss this weekend's violence. You can read the very latest on this investigation online at fox59.com. What occurred this morning, based on the evidence that's been gathered so far, was a mass murder. More than that, we believe it was not random. There are no right words to say at this time. I myself am heartbroken for the lives that have been taken too soon, for the young life that's forever been changed, and for the life that never got a chance to start. For the neighborhood left to pick up the pieces in the wake of unprecedented violence, and for all of the family and friends that have been rocked by grief. From what we know at the very early stages of this investigation, this does not appear to be a random act. This is a very active investigation. Detectives are still on scene, canvassing the area for witnesses or anyone.